let's start with the debate. Uh, you and your team said, have said you had a bad night. But your, but your friend Nancy Pelosi actually framed the question that I think is on the minds of millions of Americans. Was this a bad episode or the sign of a more serious condition? It was a bad episode. Uh, no indication of any serious condition. I was exhausted. I didn't listen to my instincts in terms of preparing. And I had a bad night. You know, you say you were exhausted, and, and I know you've said that before as well, but you came, and you did have a tough month, but you came home from Europe about 11 or 12 days before the debate, spent six days in Camp David. Why wasn't that enough rest time, enough recovery time? Because I was sick. I was feeling terrible. Matter of fact, the docs with me, I asked if they did a COVID test because they were trying to figure out what was wrong. They did a test to see whether or not I had uh, some infection, you know, a virus. I didn't. They just had a really bad cold. And did you ever watch the debate afterwards? I don't think I did, no. Well, what, I'm trying, what I want to get at is what were you experiencing as you were going through the debate? Did you know how badly it was going? Yeah, look, the whole way I prepared, nobody's fault mine. Nobody's fault but mine. I, uh, I prepared what I usually would do, sitting down as I did come back with foreign leaders or the National Security Council for explicit detail. And I realized about partway through that, you know, all the, I get quoted, the New York Times had me down at 10 points before the debate, nine now or whatever the hell it is. The fact of the matter is that what I looked at is that he also lied 28 times. I couldn't, I mean, the way the debate ran not my fault, no one else's fault, no one else's fault. But, but it seemed like you were having trouble from the first question in, even before he spoke. Well, I just had a bad night.